bless your name because you love us so much that you give us your only begotten Son to open our eyes of understanding so that we can enter into your kingdom. We know that Satan has taken over the whole world, turning the Bible to an equipment of destruction. But we thank you that here we have opened our eyes through Jesus to enjoy the Bible. We are glad that every time we come, the Spirit reveals the mind of God unto us in this ministry. I pray as many that you have prepared to make them wherever they are, you will draw them closer to yourself, and they too will come and benefit from this revelation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, whatever is different from people from coming now, I pray, remove it from their ways and draw them to join us now. And as we go into your word now, I'm asking. Give us that mind that really understands the world and put it into practice. Thank you for hearing our prayers. That this night, Jesus will work wonders in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. I welcome you to our night of discovery. Last week we listened to that message, Jesus, the wonder walking. Wonder walking Jesus. He has power and there is nothing he cannot do. Only a car for six to go And that's why we're enjoying him in this ministry. And as we come again tonight to learn, I trust God that he will give us more from his word tonight. So tonight we are continuing in the book of Matthew. And today we are looking at Matthew chapter 15. From verse 1 to verse 9. That is it. You see this song. Matthew chapter 15. If you observe, you will see that we are taking the study of the Bible line by line and precept by precept. No, we don't want to miss anything. That's why we're going, the way we're going, each line, each chapter, each verse, so that your eyes will be open. No prophet, no so called bishop. We receive you. And so I feel with you try to learn to follow the way where the Lord is spoken in our eyes. We are starting from verse 1, Matthew chapter 15. I'm going to read verse 1 to verse 9. Then it came to Jesus Christ and Pharisee. Who which were guilty of the same? Why do the disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. 
But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and if thy cousin, father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift that whatsoever thou find, thou findest, be profited by me, and honor not his father or his mother, shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of non effect by your tradition, ye hypocrites. Where did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, these people draw it nigh unto me in their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Verse 9. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. And begin to challenge the disciples of Jesus. This is challenge them. You are not qualified to challenge them. Because you yourself, you are an enemy of God. Because you don't obey the word of God. Therefore, you are not qualified. Then we are hypocrites. That's why we are titling this message. Replacement of God's commandment with man's preference. Replacement of God's commandment with man's preference. And, and what we are seeing playing out here. What is happening in the country, the world? They want to obey the teaching of Jesus. They will be telling us to obey what Jesus has cancelled. And they introduce their own. When do they see Jesus collecting tithes and offerings? You know, this, this disciple, these Pharisees and Sadducees, that's why when Jesus came, the laws God gave them, they have been sent to it. And that's why Jesus came. They turn everything for money, 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 money. Because you have to come and buy incense from the temple. You have to come and buy lamb in the tabernacle. And anything you buy from outside, you come and worship God. If you don't buy it from the synagogue, you cannot worship God. That's the way they put it. That's why God was talking to them. This was to them. God made a law and said, Thou shalt obey your father, honor your mother. You change it. He said, Hey, don't worry. Any hard day, as long as we are getting money, he said, Anyhow, they are not offended. The same thing today. But come on, God, God has cancelled all this rubbish these Pharisees are doing. Just went on the cross and cancelled everything. And he said it is finished. Oh, so we Look at all this rubbish church. They will say, come and pay that. Come and bring the first offering. They will say, come and bring oil. He was messed up worse. Different from the teaching of Jesus. The thing that Jesus comes to, they are turning to their own way of making money. That's why 
I was talking to somebody in London today. So I was going to fight them till I die. Anyway, like I've told some of you, my name is already, is already registered in the mortuary. Because I've, I've entered into 70 years. I'm now on the, on the run of 70 years. I'm, 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 I'm on the way now. I enter 70 May on October 26. Since last year. And I'm going up. And the Bible is clear, 70 years is the least God gave us. And if we manage to get to it, it's just by chance. So, so I already I, I know that my name is already in the mortuary. So it's not in the rooms. But not this one, liar. They can kill me. They are too small. They can't try. Let them use their Jews. I will keep saying what I'm saying. That what we are doing is not the message of Jesus. Jesus never told us to bring oil. Jesus didn't ask us to collect guys from anybody. Of first food, second food. Come on, that's not part of the gospel. And because this message is going all over the world, people are writing me from Pakistan, from London, from America, that they thank God that there is somebody who can face this liar. And so all of you, the man that is already dead, I, how can you threaten me with death now? When, when, when my, my name is already in the mortuary, come on. You know, I, I want them to be to know me I'm not afraid of death. You know, I like the way God organized the death of Moses. He, he, he made Moses to die oh, Moses, and he went to bury him. So that's what I want. So that you people will not contribute for my coffee. Put your money in your pocket. Let God not carry me. Bury me. You, you won't even know where you bury me. So you don't need to pay for grace. That is already in heaven. Can you he be afraid of anybody? Can I be afraid? We must preach the truth. I mean, except God did not call me. And the call he gave me is to fight all these liars. And so they're in trouble already. So tonight, we're going to see how God spoke to them. He didn't spare them. He declared to them that you are hypocrites. I remember when, when God just called me and, and I started preaching the way I'm preaching. You know, mommy was telling people, anybody there, please, you please with her, uh, you know. Your Baba, you will die. This is afraid. You know, it's, it's because when you have the kind of vision I have, what? you are you are, you are ready to preach the way you need to preach. Bother about money. 
crowd and begin to make money. You didn't see many people and begin to make money. I mean, that's how we know people are following Jesus. Pastor, all over, I'm glad that you will hear this on the YouTube. I'm telling you, you are liars. Different from 
mad people. Because they don't follow the word of God. You don't know what I don't even want to sit down with such people and be talking to them because it's that people don't understand the word of God. What I do when I see them talk rubbish on social media. I reply them. And I call them by their name. Pastor Kumu here and everybody that is sitting on me. You read? I see me on them. But all these other boys, they are small boys. They don't understand the word of God. So when I'm talking to them, I talk to them as boys. That food is provided, you are too small. I call them by their name. You are too small. I mean, if you understand Bible, before you are born, you have been preaching the gospel. Why are you coming to want to rewrite the Bible? And, and when they see my picture, they, they, can't, they, they can't reply to me. I mean, they can't. I mean, you can't see me like this, and you know that this person talking to you is not your mate. I mean, when I talk, I back it up, I write the Bible reference, my authority. I don't just talk anyhow. I talk the Bible. You can't reply to me. The only thing they are doing now is the attitude they are doing. Like that, yeah. 
And say, hold on, sir. Where is the picture? What type of cheap? I mean, by the time I begin to ask many questions, I say, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I think because things that cannot empirically, that is, can present it factually that everybody can be sure. Come on, don't come and tell us. What is this? What does that got to do with the gospel? So, what you are trying to see here is that these people, they have established their own laws. And they want this disciple to obey. That's fine. When those disciples were under them, they can obey them.
cannot wait to six years. Or that you protect him. Or that you are going to die here. Tell me. I think we reach 70. Yeah, we are going to pray of death. Death cannot be bold to come here. If we go, they need to come here. He says that death is the person that has the power of death. Fire 
already. This person who got to a lot of They think that these people, if they threaten them, now that Jesus is gone, they are going to fall. No, they will keep on firing. Blessings for you. 
what happened to these people. But these Pharisees, they don't want to obey. Let's go back to that Matthew chapter 15. This is when they were challenging the disciples. And Jesus, look at them. Let's read it to verse 3 to verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and that cursed father or mother, let him die with death. For you say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Though as he made the commandment of God of not effect by your tradition. And told them, why are you bothering these people? You also, you are committing sin by making your tradition to contravene the law of God. And he gave them an example that God says, children should honor their parents. But you say, children, as long as you didn't take your mother, whatever you do to your father, your mother, as long as you are bringing money to the house of God, you are free. By that is one of the laws they have this handle. But don't you know that what that tradition which you introduce is contradicting the law that God gave to Moses on Mount Sinai? In Matthew chapter 7. Let me read from verse 9. Matthew chapter 7. Or rather, Mark chapter 7. From verse 9. Mark chapter 7. From verse 9. And I will read. Up to thirteen. And he said unto them, Fool, when you reject the commandment of God, that you may keep your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother. And whoso trusted father or mother, let him die death. For you say, If the man shall say to his father or mother, which is common, his mother, that is to say, a gift by whatsoever that might be profited by me, he shall be free. And he suffer him no more to do odds to his father or his mother. Making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which he has delivered. And many such like things do ye. Chapter 19. Three. God has given this law. Let me start from Exodus chapter 21 verse 17. Exodus chapter 21. Let me start from Exodus chapter 21 verse 17. Exodus 21 verse 7. And he that possessed his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. In Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the man which the Lord thy God to Let's go to the 19, verse 3. You shall fear every man, his mother, 
and his father, and in my Sabbath, I am the Lord your God.
what you just probably did to your shop. Bag of rice, even hot. You carry it. This problem. That's why they are dying like chicken or like turkey. Salary, give it to you. There is no money in the house. 
when someone don't need to live, and the wife will be complaining. What are we going to eat? I am you don't have to have feet. I was told, I don't you see that the pastor said, as we bring it before middle of the year, and we have plenty money. And they will not be able to pay the money they should pay for children. And this is how problem comes in marriage. And the wife will begin to grumble. At the end of the day, that's the great problem in the family. They won't take, I mean, it's a horrible In fact, if I had my duty, all of them will be charged for murder. Because they have to ask the family, why are you working so and the come up with All of them. That's why it's a 119. The Holy Spirit spoke out here. Psalm 119. Because of the knowledgeness of these so called men of God. Eh? Psalm 119. It is time for the Lord to walk for their main voice, like God, inspired by God, to cry to God. God, walk, deal with this people. That time, Jesus had not come. Yeah, people were worried. So in the course of prayer, they cried to God that it's time for the Lord to walk for their main void, thy Lord. Because these are evil people. That's why in Malachi chapter 1, that I'm making work with these people. I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by God to fight them. They don't even think I'm going to go the law of God. They don't even want to go to the law of God. They don't even want to go to the law of God. Just mess up the gospel. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. They cannot again make people to be paying for their sin. Oh, they must choke you up in your ear. They don't even want to go to the law of God. In Malachi chapter 1, I'm reading verse 6. The son honored his father, and the servant his master. If then I be a father, who is my honor? And if I be a master, who is my fear? Say the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest, that despite my name. And you say, Who then have we despised thy name? He offered polluted bread upon my altar, and you say, Where well, have we polluted thee? In that you say, The table of the Lord is contemptible, and if you offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if you offer the day and say, Is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee, or accept thy person? Say the Lord of hosts. Matthew 28 from verse 18. 
18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, who is there to unteach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever commanded to you. And no, I'm too always, even unto the end of the war. If you don't get there. After he had died and he had resurrected. And that's what the people are preaching. He decided. You know, when the disciples were staying with Jesus at the end of the they were all still carrying oil. They were following Jesus. Look at Mark chapter 6. You will see that Jesus did not mind because he was still learning at that time. Look at Mark chapter 6. From verse 12. And they went out and preached that men should repent and they cast out many devils. And I'm going to call many that were sick and healed them. What's it? What's it? You are doing that. You are carrying oil there. Why should you not drink and I won't go? But the moment Jesus won the battle and the resurrection, he came. He said, Now all power on her and in heaven has been given unto me. Our life will be 